scan the QR code, and you got a shot to join us, okay? So caller 10, I'll put you on the cocksicles, and we'll see you there. Good luck. 216-578-1007 or 800-348-1007. Seven out of ten listeners agree. On what? We have no idea. This is the Alan Cox Show on 100.7 WMMS. I'll head east to play the uh, Timberwolves uh, in um, uh, Minneapolis, and then they'll come back home for an MLK Day game. We will be preempted by the Cavs on Monday afternoon, 3 o'clock tip-off against the Pelicans. 2.30 is the pregame there. So we will um, meet you again on Tuesday. Hey, um, Steve, hello. Hey, Alan, uh, I was listening about the burger conversation. What uh, was the attraction to the fat burger? What did it have special on it? I just liked it. I don't even know if it was that. There was one near my apartment, and I just, I think I liked it. Um, I just liked it. Liked it a lot. Yeah. Well, I I know uh, Pound Cake says you talked about uh, Fuddruckers a while back. But they're the only ones I could think of where you uh, put all the condiments you want on your on your burger or your sandwich, and that was a big plus uh, when they were in town. Well, we went to a but, we went to a Fuddruckers outside Detroit about a month ago, and it was very depressing. Really? Well, because <laughs> they've been they've been shrunken down into like the corner lot of a strip mall. And they don't even uh, have that full thing anymore. You go over there and they have like a pump of ketchup. They got a couple of sad little plexiglass things with some tomato slices in them. We sp- spun on our heels and walked out. Hey, one other question. Uh, have you heard the, the scuttlebutt about uh, the state of Ohio wants to raise our gas tax uh, on, on gasoline purchases, uh, uh, even though they have a $5 billion surplus in their fund? I have not heard about that. No, I know that Mike DeWine redefined natural gas as green energy. Yeah, isn't that weird? Yeah, that's one way to put it. Uh, No, I'll tell you what, and I I feel bad, Steve, because I like to keep up on every bit of scuttlebutt that's out there. But I I just got to tell you, I haven't heard about that. Well, it's weird that uh, Republicans' mantra was always no new taxes, and yet... DeWine just got reelected, and he wants to put more more tax on us. I, it's unbelievable. Well, I'll count on you to keep your uh, uh, ear to the ground for me, Steve. Well, well, check out their five billion dollars <laughs> surplus. You'll see they're, they're they're rolling it over till next year, and I, they should uh, compensate the, the citizens instead of keeping it. Hashtag compensate the citizens. I like the sound of that. It rolls right off the tongue. Okay, thank you, Steve. I appreciate right. the call. There's Steve who's concerned about that potential gas tax. Alan! Man, In-N-Out Burger, okay. Fat Burger, okay. Uh, can we please talk about Swenson's? It's the same thing. And way better. Swenson's all the way. Hate the show. Bye! I think that's what we're known for. <laughs> I think that's what, like, when people think of Ohio, like, that is our In-N-Out Burger. That's our... I don't think that many people know about it. No, they do, because of LeBron, because that was a part of his promotion with uh, that movie he did. What did he ship? Yeah, but, it, but but also, isn't it mostly here? Like, there aren't Swenson's there's, locations around... there's only, around... like, four of them. No, I, no, there's I, a lot they, of they've expanded now. now. They're, they're, like, a there's big like franchise seven. now. Are they? <laughs> Oh, seven? I don't know how many. I don't I'm think there's two. that many. Well, I will say this. We lived here a long time before I ever had Swenson's. And it was like, go to Swenson's. Go to Swenson's. I'm like, there's no way it's going to be as good as you say it is. Ten. It was pretty goddamn good. Mm, whatever. They make me mad, though. Pretty good. I was impressed at how small it was, which sounds weird. The but I assume. Well, that galley boy. Which yeah, is whatever. Like this big, massive thing. It's right. Like it was burger. really good. I don't think I've been back since. Because I just haven't thought of it. But that is a very good hamburger. You like a galley boy a lot. Yep. I haven't had Swenson's in a minute either. You know, we can't all be jetting around the country Culver's like our you. own Mary Santora. I'll be. I can get some in and out this weekend. Oh, you're going to be in Sacramento. Sacramento. Yeah. Where would Punchline Sack? Yeah, punchlinesack.com. <laughs> Friday, Saturday, Sunday. I think the early shows are both sold out, so you're they gonna really have to should have gone with stay up till nine thirty. Stay up till what? You're gonna have to stay up till well past nine thirty because it's 
late shows are left, and then seven o'clock on Sunday. Oh, come. Oh, you're doing Sunday shows too? Yeah, because of the holiday. On gotcha. Monday, so. All right. You and Chad Daniels. Yep. Yeah, all right. Yep, I was, I was nice enough to let Chad Daniels headline for me. You know, that's so nice of you that, <laughs> um, listen, this business is all about give and take. It's all about relationships. And I think if you can maintain those, it's pretty exciting. This is a really fun weekend. And Chad and I have worked on, like, the wild card weekend before. We're both big football fans, so it's going to be fun hanging out, watching football, and then going doing shows and just having, like, a – Boys weekend, Having really. Having some boy time yeah, he's getting together. Away from his girlfriend. I'm getting away, getting away from my girlfriend. We're just a couple yep. of boys watching some football, yep. telling some jokes. That's hey. right. Mm. Hanging out in Sacramento. What's gay about that, pound cake? You probably think the name Big Billy's Bottom Boys is gay, too. <laughs> That's pretty gay, dude. <laughs> pretty freaking gay, bro. <laughs> gay! <laughs> you don't even know anything about gay. I'm barely gay. I'm barely gay anymore. If you're not having sex with a lot of men, you're not that gay. That's what gays do. Munch butts and celebrate Halloween. If you're straight and you have sex with one man, you're super gay. There's a lot of rules. Yeah. So many rules. By your standards, that's super gay. Well, that's that's how people look at it, yeah. That's stupid. I I, I didn't make the rule, man. Tell me that you were gay. (laughs) Yeah, I don't like that. I don't like that. that, I don't like it either. Yeah, because you have sex with a man, and I don't like people shaming you, Bill. I care about you. I have sex with a man. <laughs> I think you should do whatever you want to do, and let's not worry about the labels, man. Yeah. What's with the labels? Yeah, bro, just I don't like labels. labels. Just come on. <laughs> Poundcake says he's barely gay. He's barely a lot of things. Barely gay white. is not one of them. Barely white, barely black. Yeah. That's the name of your tubing team. Yeah, barely white. Barely white. He did that before. I know, but yeah. bring up. I'd used cocksicles before. No babies. I liked barely white. I thought I said barely white. And you no, died. you said something else. that was you go polar bears. Uh, I think I, I like think that, that was, was a pun or something. I think that was a remix of barely white. But yeah, no, I I like that. Pound cake's barely white. I just thought you guys wanted me to do something new. I'm good with no, barely white. No, go ahead. I mean, you I'm know. the one that likes to come up with new stuff every day. Bill does. I, I figured we've been gone for two years. Reinstate. Yeah, cocksicles. I mean, I went with cold cocks at one point. Eh, that's okay too. But pound cake barely, pound cake's barely white. Yeah. yeah. Hey, Danny. Hey, Alan. Danny, what's up? Speaking of cold cocks, um, I'm gonna throw a monkey wrench into your whole burger conversation. Okay. Have you ever had the rodeo burger from Burger King? Oh my gosh. Yeah. It's amazing, right? It's just a hamburger with an onion ring and barbecue sauce on it. And it makes it amazing. I've never had it. I mean, a Big Mac is just a burger with some sauce and lettuce and everything else. No, but like, I feel like everywhere has a version of anywhere, any restaurant you go to has a rodeo burger. They have a barbecue bacon burger or some version of that that has barbecue sauce and an onion ring. I feel like there's a lot of places that do their version of a Big Mac. No, they don't. I made the mistake, uh, Danny, one time of ordering the Rodeo burger, and that had a Dior watch on it, it and I cracked expensive. a tooth. <laughs> so expensive. <laughs> that was, and it didn't taste good. Or Thank you, Danny. I appreciate the call. I like no, a Rodeo burger. I have never had a hamburger with onion rings and barbecue sauce on it. It's okay. But the night is still young. You're not going to have one. Don't lie to anybody, not even yourself. We'll just have a plain onion. Right. <laughs> Not even cooked. Pure calories. Just Good for your heart. Yeah. I like how. And I could only eat a quarter of it. I like how I get that's so a, full. I like how fewer calories good for your heart is a statement made in mockery. Because you would eat a raw onion and say something like that. We would walk into you eating an apple, an onion like an apple, and be like, "What? What? It's, it's, it's just so crunchy. It's like good for you. I wouldn't eat. It's a, better than chips. I wouldn't. <laughs> <laughs> it is. I wouldn't eat a raw onion. When I was a kid, I had a buddy that ate onions like apples. It's so and, gross. Well, he loved it. I, I, I'm not going to tell him it's gross. It's just not for me. But I was like, wow, how are you not like, how are your eyes not spraying water yeah. while you do that? Oh, thank you. I mean, we were little kids. He, We were like t- nine. And he's walking around crunching. I go, what is that? First time I saw it. What? What is that? Onion. Wow. Good for you, bro. I got uh, $1,000 here for you. Right out of my pocket. Into yours. It's a chance to go fund yourself 
Now listen closely and good luck. The buzzard wants you to go fund yourself and score one thousand dollars. Enter the nationwide keyword check at wmms.com. That's check. Enter it now at wmms.com. And good luck from Buzzard Radio. All this hamburger talk, though, it's made me really want a hamburger now. I know, right? I bought my groceries for the week, so I can't. For the week, what did you buy? Treat yourself. What you think I bought? Chicken, chicken breast, uh, and then I've. I got like the. You got a meal prep every day, is that what it is? Yeah, I had mm. to pack a stupid lunch. But then I didn't have to pack a lunch today because I'm working from home now. So I just, you know, walked on over to my kitchen and microwaved some chicken. <laughs> <laughs> pack then, a stupid lunch. And then I had a spinach wrap. Uh, you know, is that the green tortilla, the spinach wrap? Yes. And I made my own. Well, unless it's been left out on the counter for too long, then it might just be a regular wrap that has gone terribly, terribly bad. But if you bought. Uh, those green tortillas, yeah, those are probably spinach wraps. Yeah, I bought those, and I made my own little signature uh, hot signature. sauce. Signature? Now, what made What's it signature? What's your signature hot sauce? Why haven't we been able to try your signature hot sauce? Because it's just ranch and hot sauce, and I mix it together. Okay, that's just ranch. <laughs> I was going to say, <laughs> ranch, ranch and hot sauce? Yeah, spicy ranch, Don't yeah. they fight each other? Yeah, but that's like- They work it really well together. Really oh, do they really? Yeah. I think so. All right. I wouldn't call it signature. <laughs> that's his signature. He put his own little twist yeah. on it. Yeah. I took a big old swallow out of it, and I was like, uh-oh. Yeah. I got a voicemail from Dustin on the After Hours line, by the way. Alan, it's Dustin down here in Georgia again. Um, I do apologize for sending you that that uh, that link to that Jesus, you are my N-word. I've never seen that. I thought it was just <laughs> oh, he was the, the one who sent that. Awesome thing yeah. ever. But I did want to call and, and, and give a, a big thank you to Bill Squire. For helping me uh, on my on my baby registry, um, I do really appreciate that. What'd you do? I got something off his registry. Oh, you did? Yeah. Oh, that's nice. So yeah. Thank you, Bill. Uh, What'd you get him? Uh, like a baby thing? I don't know. It's like a diaper warmer. It's, it's like a the, the it's like a baby rocker thing or I don't know. Well, you had to pick something specifically. I mean, yeah, but I don't remember what it's called. It's like it's like no, a, but it's like it's like the little rocker that little yeah, rocker I see. thing. Yeah, gotcha. Yeah. Sending you a good firm hand. Mary, what'd you get him? Nothing. Jake, with that. And thank you to the couple of uh, listeners that helped as well. You know, most people don't have, you know, thousands of Instagram followers that will help. So when a normal guy like me gets help from literally complete strangers, you know, it's pretty, uh, pretty cool. And, and I do thank each and every one of you. So uh, thank you. And Alan, if you if you want it, if you want to go ahead and plug it again, be my guest. Because hey, man, I ain't too proud to beg. So you're more than welcome to plug it. It's your show. You know how to find my baby registry. And uh, Bill, just for a real quick uh, informational purposes only, an uh, anchor baby is only an anchor baby if. The mother is n- is an e- illegal alien, and believe it or not, my wife is actually just as much a citizen as you and I. Uh, okay, okay, buddy. Yeah. Right. Gotcha. Yeah. Catch you later. Heard you loud uh, clear. Wink, wink. Now, I don't want anybody Ixnay to think. Ixnay on the asylum way. I was doing this out of the goodness of my heart. I There's a little quid pro quo here, Dustin. You are having this baby. I bought you a nice item. I get to name... Your baby's middle name. I get the. You have veto p- power, but I, I I want input on the middle name. Now well, you already got the thing, so you don't have to. Uh, but I think you know abide by this. But I think you should let me help pick out the middle name of the baby. Uh, his name is Dustin Greenway. That is Dustin's uh, last name. He lives down there in Georgia, and they have a baby registry. He I done knocked up my wife or my girlfriend. Are they married? They're married. Yeah. Yeah. Um, second wife, second right, second yeah. wife, and uh, he done knocked her up, and they have a baby registry on Amazon. How did you find it? You just looked for his name. Yeah. Okay. You just go to the registry part of Amazon and put in the name, and so there if it was. any, um, if any of our listeners uh, who have enjoyed Dustin's calls over the years uh, feel compelled to uh, get them something, there it is. You can get. Um, 
You can't get the uh, who knows what it's called swingy thing anymore because Bill bought that. I guess I'll have to go on there and send something. Or maybe Ooh, not. I mean, I'll can, just set my. We can both. I'll set myself apart. Weigh in on the middle name then. How about. And we got to find out if it's a boy or a girl. How, no, it doesn't, doesn't matter. matter. How about Shugly? Shugly is a good name. It's a very strong name. Works yep. for a boy or, or a girl. You're looking for middle names. Mm -hmm. How about. Um, how about. Steph <laughs> Steph <laughs> That's a good one. That's a pretty good one, too. How about uh, Tug? I mean, that's a good one. Yeah. That's a, that's, a, that's a strong one for a nickname, too, because if you don't want to go by whatever your parents named you, you got that middle name, Tug. Yeah. Tug Greenway? That sounds like a country singer to me. <laughs> how about, how about um, Chugger <laughs> Monk Slute Greenway? I think Chugger is a great middle name. Yeah. And it is a nice reminder to, I'm, you know what, the middle name I want? Swaller. <laughs> big old Swaller. Uh -huh. I took a big old Swaller out of it, and I was like, uh-oh. Yeah. So we'll start negotiations on the middle name now, Dustin. And uh, I'll, I'll my, my number one pick. Negotiations? Yeah. It's going to be like a Yalta. Uh, my number one pick is Swaller. Swaller. Dustin is Swaller Green is my daughter Swaller. Swaller and then Tug. Those are those are my top two picks. Alan, might I suggest the middle name The Wind? Mm. Well, his name is Dustin. Dustin the Wind, I get. That is actually my friend's name, is Dustin the Wind. I swear on my life. What is the that's the last his name? His middle name is The Wind. Oh, The Wind, yeah. Yes. So Good I'm wondering parents. if the person who or, texted that knows the same guy that I do because I've never met anyone else named Dustin The Wind except for my friend. That's too funny. My 5th grade teacher named her daughter Prudence and named her son Brock Lee. Mm. Mm. That was his middle name. There you go. Brock Lee. Liz said she sent Dustin some nipple cream. I hope you mean for him and not for his wife, because that would be great. He hey, I know you're going to have a baby, and you're going to get chewed up there, and this is really going to help. Do not give it to your husband, because he's going to use it all up. I got to take a break. Uh, if you want to text.